Hi, everybody. Welcome to Algebra Talks. Hi, Nathan. Hi. So you are the assistant lecturer at the graduate study program in game development. Yes. Okay. So can you tell me what does this study program offer students in terms of unique skills and knowledge? Sure thing. So the students will acquire skills and knowledge in all the key areas related to game development. So first and foremost, that involves programming and data-oriented programming specifically. Um, we also have different areas and the other uh, aspects of game development. So that includes things like art, 2D and 3D modeling. We have classes in monetization and entrepreneurship. We have classes in uh, AR and VR for people who may want to enter into that field. And we also have things like narrative and level design. So it's a very holistic, rounded approach, but it also is focusing primarily on the core skills like math, physics, and programming so that people have uh, strong uh, labor market skills when they go into uh, the industry. It all sounds very intricate. So who provided the input for the creation of this study program? Well, the program is pretty new, but this is actually, in fact, the third iteration of it. So we've been going for three years now, and each year we update it. But um, the way that the program is organized is Goron and the head teachers all work together to uh, figure out what areas of specialty need to be taught at a basic fundamental level. And then we go and we talk to uh, different um, game studios, uh, AAA studios, who then come back to us and tell us, actually, we need this, that, and the other, and these are the things that we really want. And then we take that feedback and we incorporate it into the class and adjust so that what we're teaching is actually exactly what everyone needs in the labor market. Who's it for? So are there some prerequisites for the students wanting to enroll in this study program? Well, the program is a graduate program, but there are not that many prerequisites in terms of um, getting in your foot in the door. So it's a perfect match for anyone who's either completed a computer science or a similar, similar program at the undergraduate level. Any knowledge of uh, object-oriented or you know, basic programming language would be able to um, fit in quite easily. Let's talk jobs now. So what are some of the specific jobs that the students are being prepared for in this study program? Well, as I said, the study program provides a very wide approach. Um, so there's a lot of different jobs that you could be going after uh, with this project, and it's really up to you kind of like what you're going to focus on. So uh, some of the classes that we do, as I said, include things like uh, modeling, narrative, level design. I teach a math course. Um, there's lots of classes for uh, programming. We have things having to do with uh, data-oriented programming. So there's a lot of different things that the students will be able to learn, and they'll be able to show that to future employers. But if we're talking purely in terms of jobs, things like programmer, 3D modeler, level designer. Um, we have classes also for things like uh, marketing and uh, entrepreneurship. So you know, that aspect could also be pursued. So there's a lot of different options. So when it comes to employability, what is the situation for our graduates on the domestic and on the global labor market? Sure. So uh, it's no secret that uh, there are a lot of game developers, and game developing is a notoriously difficult industry to break into. That said, uh, a lot of the courses, a lot of the, the uh, other schools out there, when they design game development classes, you spend a lot of time working on just theory, basically. You know, it's treated like just a computer science class. And uh, a lot of those courses, you know, you'll work your way through it, and by the end of it, you know, you'll know a lot of knowledge, but you may not actually have that much hand-on experience. Uh, this course kind of takes the complete opposite approach. We focus all of our time on, you know, practice, 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 you know, building up a portfolio, having something to show at the end of it that proves that you know the things that you say you know. So when a student exits our program, uh, they can expect to have um, a lot of, you know, small little projects that they've worked on throughout um, the courses. And then they can also, at the end, expect to have a big game that they've worked on and shipped, um, you know, for profit, for, at, for their own profit um, in a team, um, which they can then show to whoever they're implying to work for and say, look, I've made a game before, here's the game I made, here's the things I know, here's me applying the things I know, and I have proof. And so um, being in that position puts you at, above many of the other students from different places that you could possibly go uh, when it comes to this field. So the answer is, it is tough out there, but this course makes it much easier.
And how about working while you're studying? So can students work during their studies? Yeah, so all of the classes that we've designed take place after business hours or on Saturdays. So you'll be able to do your job and then come to the school afterwards. That sounds wonderful. Thank you, Nathan. Well, would you like to take this opportunity and maybe invite some future grads to this program? Um, I know what it's like to be starting game development um, because I was there only a short time ago. So, you know, when you're starting, even if you have a lot of theoretical background, it can be very difficult to know where to start. And games are big projects. So if you feel lost, you don't know where to begin, you don't know, you know, how do I even approach making a game? Um, this is a good place to come because you're going to be able to explore those ideas and it's not just going to be sitting down in a classroom and having someone talk at you. You're going to be collaborating with people, you're going to be working together, and you're going to be making the things that you want to make. And when you run into problems, you'll have people to ask. You'll have people to directly answer exactly the questions that you're having trouble with. So when you come to this school, what you'd be thinking of is not just as a class, not just as I'm going to sit down in a room and listen to people and I'll have knowledge. What you should be coming here and expecting is a collaborative community that you can have that will help you design the things that you want to design. So if you feel like you want to explore games but you're not quite at the point where you can learn it by yourself or where you can apply for a job and get accepted immediately, this might be a good place for you to come. Thank you, Nathan, for the wonderful talk. Of course. See you at Algebra in Zagreb. Uh -huh.